want to get ready to do another pour, but before I do, I have to do something with all this paint that's dried for my previous pours. So, since I've left it dry on this plastic tablecloth, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to peel this all up just like this. Look at that. And this is called an acrylic skin. And what you can do with an acrylic skin is you get glass cabochons and you put a little bit of glue on the back side of the cabochon and you stick it down on your skin after you've peeled it up. And then once the glue is dried on the back side of the cabochon, you just take a pair of little scissors and cut around it. And I will show you how to do that in just a few minutes. Okay, we're back. And yeah, this looks like a mess, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the skin jewelry now. We've got all of our skins off of the drop cloth that we were using underneath our paints. And now, let me try and zoom in. Zoom out, there we go, okay. And what we're gonna do, whoop, sorry, is I'm gonna show you how to make the jewelry. It's really easy. Um, you start off with, whoops, ouch. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, what you want to do is you want to get glass cabochons. Now the easiest way is you can buy them in a kit that already come matched to the jewelry trays. So they're already pre-fitted to fit. And not um, this size is a 25 millimeter, and it fits in a 25 millimeter tray. And let's see, like these, these come in a kit. You've got your glass fronts here in the tube in the. in a little Ziploc, and then they come with your different colored trays. There's um, black, silver, antique bronze, antique brass or bronze, and then uh, copper. I've only got one copper left, so like you guys know, I love my copper. And these fit right in here. And that's the easiest way to make the jewelry so you don't have to try and remember okay I ordered 25 millimeter cabochons now I've got to try and order 25 millimeter trays and stuff and you can get the kits like I said this one came with the squares the circles and the heart shaped uh, here's a glass shaped cab for that and yep, they come out like that. So, you see that? It's a pretty one. And then you can order whatever type of necklace you want to hang your um, pendants on after you create them. I just order the braided leather and standard 18 inch with the little lobster claw clasp. And I buy those in bundles and you can buy them in just plain black. You can buy them in a bundle of black, brown, and white. Um, but yeah, they sell them all over different areas in uh, on Amazon. So you just hunt around and Let's see. So you wouldn't think a little skin like this would be usable, but it absolutely is. All you gotta do is measure it out. 
So what you're going to do, and then to glue it, I use diamond glaze. Diamond glazed, water-based, dimensional adhesive, and it's mixable. So, and what I like about it is it dries completely clear, and it dries quickly. So, I'll show you how easy we do this. So we're just going to put a little bit on the flat part, not the bezeled part or the domed part of the glass, but the back part. And what you want to do is you want to make sure it's clean. And just a little bit of alcohol on a cloth. Just a little drop is all it takes. And then you're going to clean it again too, but you want to make sure your flat side is completely clean because you don't want to end up gluing your fingerprint to your skin. And it's just a small, thin little bead, just like that, of glue. That's all you need. And it'll probably squish out the sides a little bit, but that's okay. You're going to trim it all off the edges anyway. And then I just put it down and set in a place. And while it's still wet, you can slide it around a little bit too to get it in the position you want. There we go. And it's that easy. And now we're just going to set it off to the side and let it dry. And let's see. Here's one that I did earlier. Can you see that? And it's completely dry already. And what I like to use are Lexan scissors. Um, they've got a bit of a curve to them and they're specially made for cutting plastic and around corners and curves. So these are my scissors of choice to use. And again, you can find these on Amazon. And again, they're called Lexan scissors. Lexan scissors. Um, but you can use just regular old shears. It'll work. And you just trim around the edge. But like I said, I, there we go. I prefer the Lexan scissors. I think I get a closer cut with them. Eh, still a little bit tacky, so it's sticking a little bit. But yeah, just go around, trim it. Okay, now that we have that all done. Let's see if you can see that very well. There we go. See how pretty that is? It just kind of, it's almost like putting a magnifying glass over the skin. Oh, yeah, my thumbnail. <laughs> you see that? I was having fun with some friends online today. Um, but yeah, there's the cabochon skin. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set that in a tray. And I've got a moon and stars tray. Why aren't I focusing? Okay. I'm trying to get it to focus. There we go. There's the moon and stars tray and you can look and see how it looks in that and you can take a peek Whoop. 
at what it would look like in different angles. Change the composition around a bit, see how it looks. Let's see if you like that one, or if it's just a regular. There we go, like that. And you think, okay, that's that's how I like the composition to look. So we're going to leave the composition like that. So you know how you want your stone orientated now. So what you do, go back to your diamond glaze and just put a couple of tiny drops, all it takes, and just set that right in there. and then let it dry. And just set that off to the side and let it dry. And then when they're dry, you find whatever type of necklace you want to hang your pendant from and just slide them on in and you'll have a full necklace. And that's how easy they are to create. A little bit of diamond glaze, your acrylic skins, glass cabochons and trays. And like I said, they sell them in kits already pre-matched to the glass and the trays. So that way it's nice because it takes the guesswork out of it for you. That way you don't have to let all the pretty paint go to waste. I hope you enjoyed it. So until next time, hugs and loves y'all. Bye.